Hello, welcome to Piano Student 7. Now, if you are a self-taught pianist and maybe you are just beginning to learn piano and you don't know anything, there's no one to guide you, no one to coach you, this is the right channel for you. We have amazing videos for you. Now, today let me show you something. Let's assume you are green, you are completely green and you don't know anything about this keyboard. You know nothing. Now, here is where to start. You can always... Uh, you can always start from the first note of the keyboard which is C uh, apparently you may not be able to see it but is on this side the first note which is a C so you can just play all all the notes way up You can also play down. Okay, now that is the first step. Assuming you don't know anything, most of us, or particularly me, uh, this is where I began. I was, I, I would start maybe like, um, for instance, I want to play a song like Happy Birthday to You. Okay, that is just, uh, it's not like you understand anything, but just creating those tunes, they help a lot, okay? Now, once you are done with that, you come to my tutorials. Now, in my tutorials, I, I take you from basic, from, from basic where you can start developing your skills. You can't start developing unless you have the basics. So the basics, you start with uh, at least... Uh, you need to understand that there are 12 keys uh, on a keyboard and basically they are from this C up to here. This is basically the, the entire keyboard. The rest, the rest of the notes is just a repetition of this from C to B. So this is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Then you, you repeat again A, uh, C, D, E, F, G. A. Okay, so if you want to know a, a, a good formula to name this key, I want you to put your fingers like this on this white no, black note. Okay, now where you have this three, uh, a stack of three black notes, you also have another stack of two, and the rest is a repetition. So, the where you have a stack of three notes, this third one. If you just go a step below that white note, that one is A, okay? So from there, you can start naming all your other notes going up. So this is your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then back to A. It is that simple. So first identify a stack of three black notes. Then on your third one, half step below. That white note is your A, and then you can just start naming the alphabet in ascending order up to G. Okay, A B A B C D E F G, A B C D E F G, just like that. Okay. Now the rest, uh, you you realize we've not talked about the black, we've not named the black, so we just talked about the C. Now what about the blacks? So if this is your B, if this is your A, and this is your B. So in between A and B, there is a black knot, all right? At least you should understand how to name them before you proceed further. So this is A, this is B. So in between, this one, we call, we call it A sharp. It is ahead of A, okay? So we call it A sharp. A sharp. It can also be called B flat because it is below B or it comes before b so it is b flat so in other words all the black notes have two names 
It can either be a flat or sharp, depending on which white key you are using to name it. This is this is your F, this is your G. So this is F F sharp or G flat. It is flat because it is below G. G is here. So it is below G, so it is flat. And it is sharp because it is ahead of F. So you can't say F, uh, okay so this is f f sharp okay f sharp then this is your g g flat so you can't say g sharp because it is not ahead of g if you say g sharp you are referring to this one which is ahead of g and the rest just like that so this is your c this is your c sharp it can also be a d flat this is your D, this is your D sharp, it can also be your E flat, and so on. And the rest is just a repetition of those notes. Then now, once you are done with that, at least you know how to name them, now you start uh, playing. Now you need to know how to measure, to, to form major, major notes, mm, major chords, okay? Major chords, major triads, we call them major triads. Triad is basically a, a chord that is composed of three notes. So if this is your C, and most mostly the basic way that I understood this is that you play one one note on your left. If this is your C, then you play a triad on your right. So a triad is a is an is, is a chord uh, with three notes. So so this is your C on your right. This is your C on your left. Okay, so when you play C on your right, left, this is what you play on your right. Okay, and we have to, we, we also talk about how you arrive at this. How do you know that this is what you should play? Why is it not this? Why is it not this? Why not this? Why not this? But this. So what we normally do. From where you are standing, this is your C. This one is the same as this. It's just an octave higher, okay? It's just an octave. So, from here, now, the difference between a note and another note, there is what we call a half tone, and there is a, or what we call a semitone and a tone. So, a tone is basically between uh, two notes. Uh, is it between two notes? Let me show you and then you will understand. So between this, this, this one is a half tone from C. So this is a, a semitone up. Okay. This is a full tone. So a full tone has two, two semitones. From here, the first semitone is this, then the second one is this. So now you have a full tone. Okay. The same case, this is a semitone. You have a full tone from here. Okay, and, and, and it goes on like that, like that. So for you to form a major triad, this is your C. So you count from your C, the first, uh, you, count, uh, you count two notes. Or, or let me say you count three, because you start with the C itself. So this is your one. Another note, full, full tone is this, because you have a semitone here. Then another note is this because you have a semitone here. So you count three from the first one, which is C. That is your one. Then you are two. Then you are three. Okay. So now that is the second note in forming the C triad. Then you go to. Then you go to. You go to what? Let me see here. 